Good day, guys. Bing here. Um, today, let's model a cavity sliding door. Okay, so let's start. Um, first, uh, we're going to start from here, new, and we're going to use the door template. Okay, so now this is a door uh, family template. So, um, so it's a wall-based family so this is a floor plan so we can also go to elevation so the first thing because this uh, it's a not a swing door uh, we don't need this okay so we can just delete them and don't worry about these dimensions some of them you just don't you can't i think you can't delete them so just leave them okay so what we need to do is so for a cavity sliding door um um Okay, so let's go to 3D view. I'll show you. So let me just change TL to show the thin line. So I'll HH this frame. So I will just, uh, if you don't want them, you can just uncheck that box to hide them. But for now, I'll just HH them. Okay, so this is, I'm going to just try to select. So see this one? This is the opening. Okay, so this is an opening cut. So for door fat or door or windows family. So basically they are a void on the wall and the depths of the wall. So it's always an extrusion. Okay. And so for this um, exercise, because there's a cavity door, uh, even we have this uh, opening cut, we still need to have some void inside. So it's actually, it's easier to just use one void cut. So so what I'm going to do is I'll delete this opening. Okay, so now I'm going to go to floor plan and I'll just create a void myself. So we can do this. Um, so depending on which side you want to be, so maybe I want the, uh, the cavity to be here. So I just draw a reference line and do a dimension here. And, and also you can control the depth uh, of this opening. So if you want this one to be, you know, uh, uh, deeper, so, or you can be shallower, so you can have a door, you know, uh, protrude a little bit. So anyway, so in this case, I'm going to just use this one, okay, to match the opening size. <laughs> okay, so, and we can just use this width. Okay, so now this width will always be same as this one. Now, what we need to do is we need to create a void, something like this, and then we uh, we need to have a, a, a cavity. So maybe we should just draw to reference plan and do a dimension and equal it and oh, oh sorry something's not right uh, maybe we can't do oh maybe i dimension on the wrong so instead of see this is a wall center no, don't do not do not dimension on this one so tab so dimension onto this reference plan okay so reference plan yeah so now this time we can equal it then to another dimension, and then we can create a, a parameter. Let's call it a cavity uh, uh, width. Okay, so now finish it, and then we uh, we need to. I think we have this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. We can create a void. So we're going to use void extrusion, and we're going to pick line. So for this one, I'm not uh, very sure which which one I need to pick, I, the, and the face of the wall or the reference plan. Um, I guess, so let's try, so tab, tab, let's try the reference plan first. Okay, so this, and I want to lock it. So maybe we can just check this box, so it will automatically lock. So this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, and we need another this one, but I'll just do it. Uh, later, so we'll do this one first and then tab tab this one. Okay, so trim TR and let's just trim this And we need another one here. So I'll just do another pick line lock onto it Don't worry about the the, the warning because they're overlapping here. So go here here and that's it So I'll finish it. So now what I want to test is um, oh, so first, sorry, let's go back here and just drag this up to this reference plan and lock it. So now 
go to 3D view, let's have a look. So currently it's not cutting the wall, so we need to manually click on the wall, click on the void, and then we have an opening with a cavity. Okay, so now I want to test. So I want, uh, let's try to change the thickness of the wall and see what happens. So which means correct, right? So which means uh, we need to pick the reference plan, not the wall face. Okay, so all good. So the next step is we need to place a door there. So let's go. So first, I want to um, maybe change this one. So maybe we don't need that the big cavity. Um, I'm not sure how much we need. Uh, I, I'll just type in 60 for now. Okay. So um, okay. So now we need to um, model the door. Um, you can model a door in another fam uh, uh, as another family and nest it into here, but um, I think it's probably better to do it that way because it will make it slightly cleaner. Clean, but um, yeah, maybe let's do that. Okay, so let's try that one. So go create a new family. So this time, uh, instead of uh, I'm going to use a generic model because this door panel it's it's not a wall based. If we use this door door, it will be a wall based. Okay, so no, we don't want that. Um, let's use generic model. We can change it into a door. So we can change. Sorry, not this one. We can go here and change it into a door, so it will uh, use all the category and subcategory. Okay, so I think it's all good. So uh, object style, you can we can use all the subcategory for for this door panel. Okay, so now let's model this door panel. Oops, reference plan, reference plan, reference plan, dimension di and equal and dimension dimension equal and the dimension. So this will be the width. I'll just call it W. Uh, type is OK. This will be thickness. I'll just call it TH. OK. And go to front view, another reference plan, RP, dimension, DI. So let's call it H for height. So now we can go to floor plan again. So create an extrusion. So rectangle, just draw it onto these reference plans and directly lock them. Go to front view, finish this extrusion, drag this up to the reference plan, lock, and that's it. You can add a material parameter here, or sorry, here, and I think that's it. So now let's just uh, make it like a door panel, okay? So I change the height, maybe 24, change the thickness to maybe uh, for 30, I'm not sure, 45 maybe. And change the width to maybe 900. Apply. Okay, so that now it's more like a door panel. And also make sure. So currently sub subcategories now. Maybe we uh, we should use panel. Okay. So um, I think that's it. So that's this is a door panel. And now we can uh, load this. So let's load this into that family. Okay. So I'm going to just place it roughly uh, anywhere here. Okay. And then we can align a, a, a L align use this reference plan. So tab this reference plan, lock onto this this. And also, uh, if you want to, um, you can also make it open and close. Let's make it open and close. So what we need to do is we just need to create a reference plans and uh, do a dimension, and we can just um, just uh, uh, give it a, a parameter. So um, what, do, what do we call it? X open open um, offset. Maybe I'll just call it offset. Okay. So and it uh, we're going to use instance parameter. And okay. And okay. So AL align this to here. Okay. So that's an offset. And we also need to because we will need to change this to match the width of the opening. So go to edit type, so which is W, just link this to the width, which is this one. And for the height, just link it to the height. And the thickness, uh, I think there's a thickness, yep, for door panel, and OK. So now, um, it's basically 
almost finished. So it's a cavity sliding door. And we can control it to make it open and close. So what we can do is go here. So we have the offset. So what we can do is, is first we need to open. Uh, so we add a yes and no parameter. So let's call it maybe open. Okay, so open uh, and change it to yes, no. And we're going to use in, uh, instance parameter. Okay, so when it's open, so what we need to do is when this one is open, so this will offset equals the width. So which means we go here, offset, um, if if open, okay? So which means if open is checked uh, with otherwise zero, okay? So this is the formula. So apply, and now let's try. So go to family types, open, close, open, close. Okay, so now what we need to do next is, so in the floor plan, we need to show something, right? So we can't have, have things like this. You don't know what this door is. So what basically we need an arrow. Okay, so um, you can just use a annotation line. Okay, so you can also use any other line that's like model line, but um, basically more, it's very more common to use a, uh, an annotation and a symbolic line because it will only be visible in uh, plan view. So if you draw it here, you will only see them in plan view. You won't see them in um, a 3D view or elevation. So let's do it. So symbolic line, and also you when you choose you you don't uh, choose a line st line style just like model line and detail line. You choose a subcategory. Okay, so for this one, so for example, I want I will use plan view. So for I'll use plan. Oh, sorry, I'll use plan swing um, projection for thin line, and I'll use plan swing cut for thick line, depending on the setting. So I'm not, actually I'm not sure they they might be exactly the same thickness. So what we can do is we can go check. Um, oh, actually, it doesn't really matter because this is family. If after we load this in into a project so it will use the setting of uh, in that project so yeah unless unless there's no subcategory in that project but this is uh, I think every project will have this uh, subcategory so yeah just need to check in uh, project <laughs> okay so now let's continue just to uh, the sing, uh, symbolic line so um, oh actually hang on yeah, I think I found sometimes when you just do a line here and you're trying to control it, control the length, trying to adjust and trying to offset it or move it, it's it can be pro pro sorry uh, problematic can be okay, especially when you move a. Uh, move the doors or you adjust the width and it can be or oh, become big and small and not become a, a, a different line weight or no sorry uh, length so it's good it's actually good to um to do it as a i think we can do detail item I think detail item. So you can actually, you can create an arrow. So for example, in your template, you can have one arrow for, you know, have for multiple element. So, and then you can just use, model it in as a detail item. And then you can load it into multiple element families. So let's do it, detail item here. So this, and for this one, you don't really need to um, worry too much about uh, out constraint. It's always uh, it will keep the size. Okay, so for example, I'll just draw it 300 this this uh, length. Okay, so and then I'll use use because detail item and it controls them differently. So this is used um, controlled by the subcategory under detail item, not doors anymore. So in here we can just adjust. So for example, light light line and I'll just do another one line so for example uh, I just draw an arrow something like this and then this time I'll use a median line uh, maybe I'll just TL type TL to see oh that's all good 
mirror it and this is an arrow okay so now we can load this so maybe i'll save it save as a family i'll call it a 300 arrow okay so and then load this into that door panel oh sorry not door panel uh, into this uh, door family so yeah that's all good we can just place on word plan so place onto the level that all good so I'll place it here i'll just rotate it by 90 degree and then we can adjust so for example we can align this to the center the, this reference plan here and then lock we can also adjust this so for example i want this one to to be uh, offset a certain distance so for example 200 and then you can just lock it it will be always 200 offset from the door oh sorry the wall face okay so this is it a door uh, a door with a oh hang on should i should i just flip this to um, <laughs> i'm not sure uh, maybe just leave it like this so okay so now uh, next step we also need to have an arrow in elevation right so go to uh, elevation let's go to elevation exterior and then we can also add a detail item here so uh, detail item where is it annotation detail component okay and then let's space use spacebar to adjust it so i'll just place it here for now al align to the center i'll use this reference plan and lock and also maybe this one it's easy so we just use these two reference so level and the reference plan and just just equal it and then it will always be in the middle so yep and same question should i just this should should this arrow be this um should i just flip i'm, I'm not sure actually so yes i think sometimes it go down don't really um please let me know if uh if you know which 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 one which which direction should i um should this uh, arrow point okay so and i think that's um that's about it oh hang on. for this one uh, currently that's exactly match the width if you want to so actually i think we should have a little bit more the door width should be slightly more than this and also maybe the cavity should be slightly uh deeper yeah i'm not sure but if you want to do that if you want to do, to do that we can just very quite easily so edit type so in, in go, go to uh hang on let me just have a look um the yeah uh, the width okay instead of just use this width we're going to cre we can create another one so uh, let's call it um uh width maybe width two okay so width two and okay and okay so this one's the same i'll just use width two and go to family types and for width two just we can use width plus plus a uh, an uh, extra uh, distance so depend you can you can make it a uh, parametric so uh, in this case i'll just add 50 mil so see and, uh, okay so now you will see when it's closed we still have that little bit here and also make sure this uh the depth of this cavity is is deeper than this uh, uh this uh opening okay so um yeah i think that this is it so now let's have a test so go let's create a project and okay so i'll load this door into the project and i'll just create a wall and door place it here this is it uh, maybe i'll just change a different wall um which one conceptual uh there's an all construction anyway uh, let's just just use a uh, course okay so i think this is it and also um you can open and close it uh if you don't want to have this showing close and open showing on the floor plan you can also use um you can hide them hide, hide the door panel and you can just use fill region or yeah uh, symbolic line
so it's all up to you so and this is it oh hang on. maybe we can make it more better so instead of you know just something like this we can we can just just change the formula a little bit so so for example i'll just type in 100 here so when it's oh sorry not this one uh, so this is when open with minus 100 so let's try this apply so if i load this one into the project so when it's open it's still you know i think this is better <laughs> right okay so okay so floor plan and uh, let's check in elevation yep good so it's a door and arrow and quick tips show hidden show the door so you can see that hidden line and this is it um, thank you for watching uh, if you have any questions please let me know and also if you you can just you can just uh, paste your request or um, um, questions here okay so thank you for watching and i'll see you next time thank you bye